Let's go ahead and get started. So the main thing I wanted you guys to take away um, from at least when we worked on our unit on factoring is that all factor all product of trinomials all trinomials can be factored into a product of two binomials. So we might have trouble with factoring, but hopefully we can at least go with this point that we know that this trinomial can be factored into a product of two binomials. Now, um, you know, I know there's a lot of different techniques you guys learned in you know, Algebra 1, Algebra 2 to like figure this out, but we, in this class, we kind of need speed. So we need to really think about this and be able to do this efficiently. And I can tell you that majority of the problems that we're going to be doing in this class that do involve this method are going to be rather simple. So therefore, I want to kind of think about this, how I treat this to doing this in my head for quick um, speed. Because obviously, if you can't figure it out, some of the methods you have previously learned work perfectly fine. They just take a little while. So if we remember that with the product of two binomials via distributive property, or you may remember it as FOIL, the first two terms are going to give you that first term in your trinomial. So 2x and x needs to give you 2x squared, which it does. Now we need to figure out well, what two numbers multiply to give me 2. Well, thankfully, we don't have many options here. We have 2 and 1, and negative 2 and negative 1, right? Um, and obviously, since our middle term is going to be positive, that means our two factors need to be positive. And then really, guys, it's either a 2 is going to go here, a 1's there, or a 1's there and a 2's there. And the main thing that you need to think about is your inner and your outer terms need to combine to give you a 5x. So obviously, if I do a 1 here and a 2 here, what we notice is, so 2x times x is 2x squared. 2 times 1 is 2. However, 2x, 2 times x is 2x. And then 2x times 1 is 2x. Well, 2x plus 2x is 4x. We need it to be 5x. So in my brain, I can kind of look at that and say, well, if I just switch this around, that gives me 1x. That gives me 4x. 1x plus, 1x plus 4x is 5x. And there you go. Now, the next thing, though, again, it's not factoring. So if you want me to check your homework, make sure you didn't just factor it. Because that's not what the question is asking. The question is asking to solve. So therefore, we need to apply the zero product property. If we have a product equal to 0, then one or more of the factors has to equal 0. So therefore, we can set each factor equal to 0 and then go ahead and solve. Subtract the 1, divide by 2. Subtract the 2. And those would be your solutions to the quadratic. Okay, so make sure you take that extra step. That's one of the big things that students are not re 